should be consultative. So to that extent, uh, you know, the fact that uh, uh, the, the, the ministry has sought views and, uh, you know, it is keeping those views in mind that for the final decision will be taken, uh, I think it's a good thing. Uh, at the same time, there should not be any paralysis and if, if certain decisions are per se good and are good for the industry and good for the economy, then they should, uh, you know, be implemented. In any case, when you're talking about FDI and news media, you're only talking about it going up to 49%. And to be perfectly honest, I don't see very much difference between somebody who owns 26% and somebody who owns 49% in terms of rights and obligations and so many other things that uh, a person would enjoy as a shareholder. Even with with the forty nine percent, you know, you can you can ensure that uh, the largest Indian largest shareholder, that is the fifty one percent shareholder, is an Indian. You can ensure that your editor in chief is an Indian. You can ensure that seventy percent of your board of directors is Indian. So uh, all the other norms that you require to establish the Indianness of a news operation can be met. But as you are fully aware, news is a cash trap a crash uh, starved kind of a, uh, an industry and uh, uh, we, we desperately need resources and sometimes being able to uh, you know get an investor who will come in and uh, uh, you know uh, sort of uh, fund some of the operations for periods of time till such time that the economy opens up till such time that uh, uh, subscription revenues don't come and so on and so forth till till all these things are achieved that we've been striving for uh, just to be able to carry out your job effectively uh, I would like to believe that uh, healthy investment would be very good for the industry I, th I think it should be 49 percent